Today I'm going to show you how to prepare a roasted turkey using an oven bag. Now I know a lot of you probably cringe at the fact that, you know, using a plastic bag to roast a turkey is kind of weird, but I do this once a year and it really is an easy way to achieve a tender juicy turkey. So here I have completely thawed my turkey over the course of three days in my refrigerator and then I set it on the counter for about an hour. So here I've added three tablespoons of cooking oil. I'm going to rub that all over the skin. You could also use butter. I've created a rub and I will put what I added to this rub in the description below and here on the screen. You can season your turkey with whatever rub or seasoning that you prefer. And I'm just going to use this and season it generously all over the turkey on the outside and the inside of the cavity. Okay, so my turkey is seasoned, so I'm just going to let it set here until I'm ready to add it to the oven bag. Here I have a large oven bag. I'm just going to open that up. And I know a lot of people have confusion or forget how to prepare the oven bag, and it's really easy. I'm going to add one tablespoon of all-purpose flour inside the bag, and I'm going to give it a shake and coat the interior of this bag. Then I'm going to add it to my roasting pan and I'm going to create a layer of aromatics. Here I just have four to five sticks of celery and one large onion that I've roughly chopped and sliced. And I'm just going to create a layer at the bottom of the bag. And now I'm just going to add the turkey. And it does help if you fold back the sides of the oven bag and I added my hand inside the cavity of the turkey and I'm just going to add it into the bag. That's the easiest way. Once I add this to the bag, I am going to clean my hands. And then I'm just going to gather the end and I do want to leave a little bit of room. And these oven bags do come with a twist tie to secure the end of it. You could also just tie a knot. I had an uncle that always tied a knot at the end, it works. So once that's secured, you'll want to get your kitchen shears and create half inch slits on the top of your bag. And you'll do six of these. And if all else fails, just read the instructions for the turkey oven bags that you buy from the store. But one year I accidentally threw out the instructions, so <laughs> that wasn't good. Okay, so I'm Putting this in a preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, this is a 15 pound turkey, so it's gonna take around two hours and 15 minutes, or until the internal temperature reaches 165 degrees Fahrenheit in the thickest part of the turkey breast and 180 towards the thigh. So after I remove it, you'll see it's collected a lot of juices and fat. You could use that for a gravy. But I'm gonna let this set in the bag for about 20 minutes. And then after 20 minutes, I'm going to go ahead and just cut the bag open. So once the bag is open, I like to transfer it to my cutting board. I use two wooden spoons, and then I let it rest for another 30 to 45 minutes. And once it's well rested, I'll start to carve and cut the turkey. And that's it. It's so tender and juicy. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it. And thanks for watching.